Hello, it's Dr. Triple O7, and in today's video, I have a cool program for you guys called DextPot. This is a virtual desktop program for Windows. So what it basically does, it allows you to create virtual screens on your one screen and simply switch between them for the ultimate multitasking setup. So as you can see in this picture, he has four screens, and you can basically have different desktops for each one, so different icons, and basically have different programs open in each one, so you can switch between basically full screen programs pretty quickly. Now, I already downloaded and installed this program, so if you're interested in trying it out, um, definitely head over to the download link and check it out. It's a free program, so you can obviously uninstall it if you don't like it, and it's free to download, so it's, why not try it out? Now, it's going to depend on each computer on how well it works though. So for example, if you have a really old computer, it may be a little laggy or make make your system a little laggy. As long as your computer is probably under three, four years old, then you should be fine. This program is a pretty late program for what it does. So it shouldn't be a problem at all. For me, it uses about four megabytes of RAM, which is not a lot whatsoever for pretty much any computer nowadays. I will warn you though, when you are installing it, a one of these screens asks you if you want to install a speed up my PC type program. So I would suggest not doing that uh, unless you want that program. So I'm going to show you guys basically how the program works. So in the bottom right hand corner in your notification area, you're going to have a little monitor. And if you double click that, it backs out and here you have your four screens. Now by default, it is four and I can show you guys later how to change that. So as you guys can see on my first screen here, I have nothing, just plain old desktop here with some minimized applications. Now if I double click it, and head over to monitor two, same thing, blank. If I double click it and head over to monitor three, then I have my program open here. Now each one of these screens is your, is your computer and there's no different profiles. It's the same computer with the same files, just different things are open. So think about it like this. When you switch a screen, imagine minimizing everything that were, that were currently on that screen and reopening everything on the other screen that you just switched to. Now, a cool thing about this program, though, is as you guys can tell, let's say I want to take this little uh, program here and I want to throw it over desktop one with my other stuff that I was working on. I can actually do this, take this one, and pull it over to this screen, go on this screen, now it's there. Another way you can switch between them is by default, it will create a tile, or sorry, not a tile, a open program um, bar here. And you can go into that and kind of preview each desktop as if you're previewing a program and switch between them pretty simply. So that's just pretty much a summary of how it works. Um, obviously, when you get to opening multiple programs like this, and then you can switch over to a different one and then you open up another program like for example you're opening up you know word right so now you can see when you do this kind of thing you can switch between program word so it's kind of a cool little way to definitely multitask so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the options that are available now this program has a lot of options but in my opinion none of them are that major um, odds are you're going to leave it to how what it currently is, unless you're a big tweaker. So the very first one is how many desktops you have. So for example here, I can set it all the way up to 20. I apply that, and when I go into here, I have a crap load of screens I can switch between, and I can have different programs on each and every single one of these ones. In my opinion, it's a bit of an overkill. I think 4 is good enough for pretty much everybody, uh, but you can actually go down, down to 2, so if you just want 2, you can do that as well. So here I only have two now. All right, so set to whatever you like. Um, initial desktop, this is the one that's going to basically um, start up on. So usually it's one. I would keep it at one unless you have a certain preference. Under start, we have the option to start with Windows. Basically means when the computer first turns on, it's going to immediately launch this program. Under appearance, this is basically mostly stuff that uh, happens when the, or sorry, for the icon changing in the top right hand corner here. So you can just kind of, bottom right hand corner, you can change the program icon, that kind of stuff. Components, 
these are the desktop manager, desktop preview. You can change. These are different ways of kind of seeing your um, different screens. So you can edit, you know, how they look, transparency, simple stuff like that. Controls is probably the area you're going to spend the most time. These are just shortcuts. So for example, you're going to open up the desktop components area here, go to the catalog or different viewers, and set basically how they're enabled. So for example, Windows Catalog by default, it's the Windows Keen F2. So if I press that, it backs out. Unfortunately, it did on my other screen though, so you can't actually see it. Full screen preview is Windows Key F3. So if I try that for you guys, you can see it backs out automatically. That's one quick way of doing the immediate back out. Now you can change the key combination. You can do things like Alt, Shift, Control, Windows Key, then one. Um, but if you do, you gotta remember though, that the less you do, so for example, if I just did F F3, odds are it would not work because another program may be using that already. So you're probably gonna have to keep the Windows key on most of the stuff that you want to apply. Um, otherwise, it will interfere with other programs and odds are it will just plan on not work. Now you can also set switch desktop. So for example, you can have it set up so that um, desktop number two has its own shortcut. So for example, Alt number two. So if I press Alt two or Alt one, it just switches between them. So you guys can see I'm switching between desktops without any animation, just pretty simply flying over there. Underneath switching desktops, we have some things for specific desktops. So you can have different backgrounds, different screen resolutions. All these ones are pretty advanced though, and you can even change your desktop icons. Um, but odds are for most people, you're not going to do this. As you guys can tell, all the desktops have their own name, which is normally just one, two, three, four, all the way up to as many you have. You can actually give them their own name. Um, there isn't much point to this, in my opinion. Um, you're gonna, probably going to leave them as one, two, three, and four. But you do have the option to change their name. And under monitors, you can select which monitors are affected by desktop switching. So as of right now, I have only monitor one affected. Plugins and extras is a cool area. Um, these are basically things that aren't enabled by default, but you can enable them to kind of change how they work. So if I, for example, if I get rid of um, Dex Group here and put Dex Cube and apply that, and I switch between desktops, it has a little, nice little cue effect. This is probably my favorite one by far because it kind of gives a bit of like 3 d ness to it. And it's just a cool way of switching. It doesn't take much long to switch and it just switches nicely. I'm not going to go through with all of them, um, but for example, Dex Grid is the one I showed you guys before that I currently had enabled. And this one basically kind of gives you a grid showing your one sliding back and forth, as you guys can tell right there. The other ones, some basic ones, I suggest going through yourselves, checking them out, and you can even go and enable one of them and hit configure to change the different things about it. Anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Thanks for watching, and I should see you in my next video. This is the Hacker Triple 07, and I am signing off.